Raven Beats.
Here's tonight. Pretty sure it's, yeah, Calvin versus Graf Dog. The original, uh, well, last season Super Bowl quarterback, Graf. No, I'm in already, so we're good. Let me bench. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, that, uh, <laughs> that last beat I play and go hard every time, but that's why I play it at the time. <laughs> These damn leagues, bro. I don't even know. Are you talking about like with the what Vol said, Sparrow, with like the whole thing being glitch and like it's probably not even gonna show. Brian, I'm guessing that's baddest boy Brian with the ball. So I think Kansas has it right now. Yeah, Graf Dog's on the other team on defense. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of had like uh, a falling out with real, so I don't really stream for UFL anymore. But uh, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Imagine. Let me play. But I, uh, yeah, there's supposed to be a lot of games tonight. With the prime time game, I think Cowboy streaming, and then like three each other D1 games. If they actually go live. But yeah, hopefully, it should be a good game tonight. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think Kansas is just trying to get more players because I'm in their team chat from the link I joined, and yeah, they pinged for more players. So hopefully, they get eight, four, five, six. They only, they only got six on the field. It looks like someone just joined though for them, unless he's on the other team. Gonna make my own leaderboard so I can actually figure out what is happening. Word, bro. <laughs> yeah, but before we get into things and just kind of forget, I'll show you guys uh Calvin's stats. You guys want to check? Pretty good stats overall, but I looked at the stats for this team. Not a lot of them were. I think it's just Calvin in the top 50 for stats. So Kansas uh, must definitely be the underrated team in this game. Because I'm pretty sure Bailey has like at least three plus players in the top 50 stats wise. So yeah, probably going to be a tough game for Kansas. If they actually get eight, that is. Kansas got lucky that last few games. Um, they were in D2, right? Or this is like their first time playing a D1 game? Because I don't think I've uh, seen a game stream for them. I was about to stream one of the games like a week ago, I'm pretty sure. But I think I had to cancel last second. Or I switched because they didn't even send me the link. But yeah. I don't even know who they were going to first, but... Okay, what is this beat, bro? Jesus. All right, here we go. I think we're about to get on the way. Three, five. Yeah, I think they get eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're still PC. Oh, they lost someone. <laughs> oh, they just TP'd him. And he's gone. Yeah, there's good players, just bad communication. They'd be playing in separate McDonald's across the world. 
I mean, they're bound to be decent considering they literally have the last season two bow winning QBA. But hey, um, yeah, communication is most definitely important for a team. Because you could have like stacked ass players, but if you just have no communication, you know, bad uh, passes or bad routes, then yeah. Oh yeah, probably help if I had zoom. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I at least saw one of their games spare. I think it was against the uh, UCF. They beat. I what was it? Oh yeah, bro. I saw because <laughs> Dami Q had his uh this video, bro, and I saw like the last second of him like, or them scoring like a sixty-seven yard touchdown off a run because like half the team rage quit for U UCF towards the end. He's got a free run for a TD. But yeah, let's see how they uh, play tonight. Think about a start. Yeah. Okay, first play. Pretty sure this Calvin going to his left. Getting up to the left side. LOS going to take the easy run. Shorts there, but good blocks from that other wide receiver. Current game runner. Yeah, Calvin. In the game of 11, second and four. <laughs> yeah. Second play of the drive going to his right this time, Calvin. Back to his left. There was a middle check down, bit of a scary pass, but completed. Good gain for another first. Actually, first. First, first down. <laughs> going to his left again, Calvin. Pretty decent amount of time in the pocket. There was a left full number 31. Tries to get past that deep left, but uh oh wait, I just realized both number 31. <laughs> well the wide receiver that was blocking for the other number 31 couldn't uh, get in the lane as he is lagging. Damn. First and 15 going to his right. Going down his middle, throws it back right end zone, pass and intercepted. I thought that might have been overthrown, but that deep right just intercepts it. Wugga. Giving Baylor the first uh ball this game. As uh we got Graf now with the ball. Who yeah, most of you has exceptional stats this season already. Jay Kwan got a cake. Okay. <laughs> Interesting title name. I don't know why they ever try to pass in pocket. It never works. I don't know. Yeah, second in yards. I'm pretty sure the first, I believe, for the QB is Alpha Raw. And he's like in front by like 700 yards on Graf. I don't know how. But yeah, first play this drive for Graf. Those are mid fold. Two wide receivers wide open. I don't know where the MLB is, but yeah. First down. About a minute and a half into the first quarter. And someone gets smited. And the PC. Um. But yeah, still zero to zero after that uh, interception. It's Calvin. I, I wouldn't really say he's a force. I think he just undid it. He was looking for that uh, wide receiver back right end zone and kind of undid it to Wugga, who got the interception last drive. I think PC anyways, three, four, they got eight. I guess they're just waiting on something. I don't know, but Grav's gonna hike it wrong to his left. He's in blocks from the center, letting him run up to his own LOS. Going to his left side at his own 40, throws it back right end zone in. Good swat. 
Resulting in second and 15 here for Baylor. Right for a lot of time in the pocket, so he might just be looking deep. Back at his own 30. Doesn't even have to move at all and throws a mid fold at number five and he jumps over it. <laughs> Yikes. Thankfully, wasn't intercepted though, so the drive stays alive. Third and 15. Run to his left, Graf. Back at his own 10. Probably gonna have to throw it off as he's probably gonna get contained here soon. Yep, on his own left sideline. Throws a mid fold and that short left early is by a mile. Three missed tackles in a row as he's gonna get the left outside lane. No way. Oh, he's right there, though. What a tackle. Going behind the blockers. Stopping number 11 for a 39 yard gain, though. But what a play on that uh, middle wide receiver. Made three people miss. And yeah, basically first and goal, considering the first down markers are like the four ish, three ish yard line. But yeah, triple DE, and he gets taken down for the 11 yard loss by Brian. Good sack there is. Yeah, triple rush is not going to work out, especially if you don't have anyone open to throw to. Going to his left. Fakes the mid split. Throws it back. That unsent wide open. Why was he so open? Um. Yeah, that's going to be a Bailey touchdown. Is he throws it back end zone wide open? I don't know why he was so open. <laughs> what the hell? I right, was well, six to nothing as they got Wugga kicking for the PAT. It is up and right down the middle of seven or nothing. <laughs> they really needed that after that sack, especially. Yeah, seven nothing. First points of the game. Kansas. Ballads rolling to the left sideline already past the 20. Oh my God. God, <laughs> what a tackle for number 13. They kind of just dove into each other and yeah, just bodied him out of bounds. Um, yeah, first and 15, the 28. First play of this drive. Let's see what Calvin does. Going to his left, back to his right. Good containment from these Baylor DEs. Um, good shit, Luke. <laughs> it's wide open. I don't know what those DBs are doing, man. <laughs> Second and 15. <laughs> oh, no, he's left again. Um, Maybe he has a comeback. Yeah, right sideline. Oh, and he barely gets it. Invalid sell on his feet. Right sideline. But I get to the 40. Still has a lane. And finally gets taken down by Graf. 42 yards. Down at Bailey's own 30 yard line here. About a minute left in this first quarter. Calvin already pressured, throws it back up the end zone. Oh, how is that not a real? Probably when he shifted like half of his like inch of the foot, just like did not get in, unfortunately. Second and 15. Calvin going to his right. Has a left check down. Stop cutting, but still right to him either way for the gain of eight. Third and seven. You nearly caught. That's what I'm saying, bro. Third and seven. Crucial conversion here for Kansas, and he's just gonna catch it and walk his way out of that tackle. I don't know how. Um, <laughs> he catches the right side comeback. Dime me, Q. Already getting his first touch out of the game. As yeah, pretty decent stats. Not ranked, but hey. Uh, those aren't bad stats. We got that nerd emoji avatar. Rock it with it. Yeah, seven to seven. I see. Don't know how he got time. <laughs> he just kind of like walked over that defender barely. Um. What do you have winning March Madness? I don't really know to be honest. Are the Miami Hurricanes still in March Madness? Cause I haven't really been watching them. I'm not gonna lie. A grab rolling to his left. Going oh, the mid fold. And that is a laser to law. Already at their own 35 or uh, Kansas's own 35 yard line. Good catch. Huge first down. Put him at the 30. Five. Looking at 30 for some reason. Yeah, rolling to his right. Grab throws it. Deep right sideline already. And that's going to be a touchdown. Damn. 
two play drive as Waga gonna get the second touchdown of the game for Baylor as it just shrieks down the right side and that short can't really do anything about that late switch in the deep that's a great find as well just kind of waited for like that switch and right when they were gonna switch he threw it 14 to 7 yes yeah <laughs> literally uh, that's just like the one thing i'm hoping for to win if they don't then that's whatever Taking it down the left side. Oh, okay. Stone his feet. On to your loss, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. I completely forgot UConn was a team. I'm not going to lie. On to his left. Calvin throws it deep right side. And that could have easily been intercepted. Only swatted, though, on a dime. Right, that's going to do it for the first quarter. 14-7. Baylor up by 7. Calvin already contained in his back right end zone. Throws a left check down. Almost jumps over at number 80. Still manages to catch it for the gain of six. Third and nine. W emotes. <laughs> oh, fixed the mid split. Calvin going to his left. Now back at his own five. Now end zone. And throws a comeback to dime. Yeah, those are honestly just probably always going to be open. Good dive too. Is there a foam percentage? No, there's not. So you can just do that every time. 21 yards there. A lot of time in the pocket for Calvin. Great blocks. Oh, and he's lobbing it down the middle. Don't tell me he hit that. Oh my God. 50 yard TD. What a throw to Dime yet again. His second touchdown. As he just shrieks down the middle and Calvin lobs that up. I don't know how he arced that. That precisely, but hey. What a throw and catch. As Dime barely just manages to catch it in the end zone. Big is up and good yet again. Tie game. Okay, this is actually staying close. I'm liking it, man. Didn't think this was going to be a close game at first streaming, but I'm glad it is. Big is up and I think that's Law. Yeah, I'm going to take it for the touchback. So I've only wasted like... 44 seconds, so I mean. Pretty quick drive. Pulling up to his LOS down the middle. Now his left grab throws the middle. Kind of a chest pass. Number 11. Still able to jump for it, but he gets a ton more yards after the catch. I don't know how, but 27 yards. At their own logo right now, rolling to his left grab. He's going to throw the right full wide open, number 9. Oh, and he still gets past him. What the? That's going to be a touchdown. No way. 48 yards for Wugga down the right sideline. I think that's another two-play drive. Two to three-play drive again. As yeah, Wugga cuts down the middle, then goes out to the right fold. DB kind of just walks past him, then misses after he cuts away from the tackle. And then, yeah, dies his way in. Damn. Cowboy streaming number one, Duke versus number 12, Norton Dame. Yeah, that's probably going to be a hell of a game. Thank you for the follow, Wrath. Hope you're having a good night. Baylor winning? Yes, they are. They just scored from another touchdown to Wugga. Got the right full pass, made a man miss, and scored. Oh, he's taking it down the left side. Now down the middle. Good game. Baylor is better. I mean... Stats and player wise, yeah. <laughs> They're better. But yeah, Calvin going to his right side. Throws a left check down, number 80. Yeah, somewhat gets past the short. Diving for the gain of five. And on Kansas. Love the underdog bet. Going back to his left sideline. Calvin back in his own five. But it gets sacked. And he throws the scary chest pass on the left sideline, but it works. Number 29. Moving the chains yet again, first down. Two minutes into the second quarter. Calvin already heavily pressured. Throws it. Oh my god. I was about to say it's a really forced pass. I mean, it was a forced pass, but at least it wasn't undered. Yeah, and Ted White see we're being uh, blue there. You almost fit that between the two of you one. I was actually about to be uh, complimenting the shit out of Calvin if he hit that. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, I see. Uh, Calvin and Kansas have the ball right now. And then, yeah, Baylor's on defense. If I knew how to script, I would probably, you know, put the jerseys on, but I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Laggy catch by Valid. Lags right when he jumps into it. But still catches it. Third and 14. So, yeah, he's probably looking for either dime on the right side comeback or just the fold or a deep pass in general. On oh, down the middle. Throws a comeback. Yeah, pre fire comeback. I think Valid's yet again. Oh, okay. I think I saw his name for a split second. So, yeah, it's Valid. Okay, first and 15. Baylor's own 24, rolling to his left. Wide of the right, check down. Oh, middle wide open. Oh, he throws a right fold, and that's over. Oh, he had middle for like two seconds. Going to his left, Calvin. Maybe the mid fold. Oh, no, they're kind of playing on it now. It was a deep left end zone, and yeah, that was honestly a 2v1 toss as law. Just gonna dive back with it for a touchback. Giving Baylor the ball back is yeah, Calvin tosses it left sideline. Honestly, it was an ice. That other DB couldn't get there, but yeah. Law comes down with it. Wait, is that Valentine? It's who Valentine, yes. He passed it a dime? Eh, probably. I don't really know. I already has two touchdowns in this game though, so. There was a left side comeback. And on the first. Just. Fly high now, dudes. Graph, a lot of time in the pocket. I don't know where that right D is going. I guess he's playing the check downs, but he's just waiting for the deep, considering he's not getting actually pressured. That's actually good defense by Kansas if he was just forced to throw it short. But still another first, so I mean, I don't know if that really helps Kansas or not. Yeah, that's ironic, Yessie. I don't want to hear it. First and 15. Bro, I'm trying to make it a two-possession game. Still has a minute left before we uh, go into the second half, so... Wouldn't be surprised if he scores here. <laughs> He's a me, Sparrow. It's fine. Oh, why? Okay. Graph good? Yes, he is. Taking the mid-split. Gonna fake it. Oh, what a read. Wait, What? I think he clicked for it, but he grabbed threw it into his helmet and it didn't get intercepted. He just hit off him. If that pass was any lower, that's probably an interception. That was a great read by Dime. On his right though, Graf Dog. Back at his own 25. That was a right check down. It almost makes that short miss, but good tackle. Third and 11. They might just make a stop here on Graf. They're going to new play it. Lock rolling down 30 seconds. As this might be the final drive this half. I just chew out the rest of the clock. Takes it down the middle. Gets that D to fall for it. Doesn't that time though. Gonna throw it down the right sideline. Oh, and it's barely over. I think that was Law. Fourth and 11. But yeah, they can go for it. Only 16 seconds left. Rolling to his left, graph. Gonna find someone. Throws the middle comeback. What a pre fired route. Is that graph calls a timeout immediately? Wait, what did that wide receiver go? <laughs> Boy just disappeared after the tackle. Okay. Yeah, eight seconds left. Probably gonna be 28 14. Oh. oh, I thought that was a player. All right, Graf. All his left might be the final play of this drive. And half, yeah. Oh, no, man. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess he just wanted to throw it away quickly so they would have another chance. As, yeah, he probably felt pressured and didn't want to throw a force pass. Second and goal. Last play of the half. Going to either remain a one possession game or two possession game. Oh, it was left again. Might have law. Oh, and what a pre fire throw. It throws the JP to number five for the eight yard TD. As he just kind of sits in the left side of the end zone. And yeah, that short's not expecting it. As yeah, Kenny, Kenny does a whole 360 around him and just manages to get open. 
I mean, I, honestly, yes, he, they, he kind of just did a hokey pokey around the short left and just got a JP slant thrown to him or J JP in general. I don't even know what that was, but okay. 2814. Oh, mm -mm. Galvin selling me? Word, bro. Come on, Galvin. Oh, that's the entire ball. Oh, I'm not sure, bro. My man, my man E dabs after the three second early on the ball. Nice. Oh, that's unfortunate too. Graf and barely get the ball right back after that TD to end the half. Thank you for the foul, Ethan. As you tune in, Baylor up by two possessions, 28-14. And with the ball again. Back in his own left side, end zone throws the right fold. Scary pass, but can't intercept it. As Yeah, I think that's dime. Tried going for the end, but couldn't reach it in time. First to 15 at the 45. Yeah, just zigzagging back and forth at his own 10 already. That was a right fold, and DB can't get there yet again. It's like these inch away passes where like they're about to swat it, but it's just barely a hit. <laughs> the center's running into him. Okay. Good shit, center. Oh, it throws it down the middle, and yeah, he's just wide open law. Again. <laughs> 34 yard T. He starts hitting the E dance. Disrespectful as ever, bro. Yeah, he literally just shrieks down the middle. It gets wide. I don't know what... Uh, who's number 59, bro? Number 59 was kind of playing on air. I don't know what he was playing on. Because, I mean, that deep had that shriek covered on the deep left end zone. So, all he really had to do was guard law. Unless he thought they were trying to do, like, a pre-fired VC play. But, I mean, it's not really his fault if that happens. Yeah, 35-14, up by three possessions. This might just become a blowout of... Uh, Kansas can't score here soon. I'll look at something really quickly. Watch flip is here. Oh, those are right fold and intercepted by Wugga. Oh, I'm gonna manage to get the tackle, but yeah. Bit of a forced pass again by uh, Calvin. Rolling to his left at his own 10 that throws the cross sided right fold, but that's just a great read. Honestly, I don't know that's a, he was just on that. He was, he was just on that outright. Nothing much you could really say. On up to his right side, LOS. That's the midfield wide. That was a deep left end zone though. Oh, bro, I thought he fit that. That would've been a crazy hit. Oh wait, they lost, did they lose a player? Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, someone rage went on their team. Guess they got a backup. Unless it's the same dude, but yeah. Run to his left a lot of time. He might just take the run. He's not. Uh, wh what happened to the D's? That, that right D's just lagging his ass off. Uh, bro, poop aside, bro. There's no way. <laughs> poop aside, bro. God. Going well, up down the middle. That was the mid fold number five, and he's gonna oh fake no he faked me. <laughs> Thought he's going to the right side, then he does a spin to the left. Doesn't get much more yards out there. Another first out the 15. And just really needs to stop, or this might just turn into a mercy. Roll to his left, back to his right. Oh, had the right out route. Throws the left check down though. Number eight, and what a tackle. When I get my point spec, I'm kind of angry. Um, no, you cannot, Yessie. You got to bet on the right team or you lose your points, cuz. Simple as that. Graf rolling to his left. Oh, he has back ends on wide open. Those are cross headed right check down. They actually got positive yards. Okay. Third and five. I mean, yeah, it's probably really unlikely. Bailey sells here, I'm not gonna lie. But as I say that, Graf just chucks it into the defender's helmet. <laughs> Alright, well, you can still go for it. Fourth and five. Might as well go for it. You're up by three possessions. Oh, and what a JP. Bro, Law is getting absolutely fed. As they just throw a JP to Law for the five-yard touchdown. I'd say he's streaking down the left, and then he just cuts in immediately for the JP slant. 41-14, Bailey up by four possessions now. 
Yikes. It gives up and good. I mean, honestly, I don't know if any team can really read that type of play unless you just got a crazy uh, reaction time slash VC reader at uh, DB. Because he's just kind of shrieking and then just instantly cuts in. And he was actually open too. It's not like the uh, defender was like right there. But Raph was just really close to the point. Nobody can really uh, react to it. Yeah, starting from exactly the 20 yard line, Kansas. Alvin needs to score here. P Clock about to roll down, has to hike. Finally does with one second remaining. Already instantly pressured, rolling to his left. Duncan Tame throws the left fold and intercepted by Law. As number 12 doesn't really attack the ball, and that's going to be yet again another interception. Law's going crazy this game. I think he, I think he uh, hurdled him too, or like he stepped on him for a bit for the boost for the end. So I'm just reading the chat to see what they say. We have 42-14. But decent pressure from that left E, but it gets laned again. As grabbed through the right fold, but overthrown. I mean, yeah, it's like both that and Baylor just kind of trying to feed stats, especially Graf. He's trying to feed the hell out of Law. That was a deep middle end zone, and that is a beam. 45 yards to number five, Atra. Kenny 4K yet again, his second touchdown of the game. Does an out route, then goes back down the middle kind of awkwardly, but it's still a hit by Graf nonetheless. Right down the middle, 49-14. Yeah, at this point, it's honestly a miracle if Kansas wants to come back. Oh, bro, ain't no way. Damn. <laughs> uh, I think X-Clip had to leave for... um. Baylor and then yeah they kind of just called mercy because they were able to but since I didn't use this stream I might as well just now because honestly didn't really see much of X clip this game but it probably just because he wasn't getting the actual touchdowns as law was just getting completely fed but yeah really good stats as well in the season yeah law is uh <laughs> law just completely carried I'm not gonna lie or graph just made him look like he got he carried because yeah he got hella hella fed graph 151 QBR 69% from the field and almost 500 yards though, 7 TDs with no ints. That's basically a perfect game, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Calvin, basically 88 QBR, 57%. About 230, and then yeah, 2 TDs for 4 ints. Yeah, Law. Honestly, I thought Law got a lot more catches, I'm not gonna lie. He was tied with NC for 4 receptions and 2 TDs. Yeah, Dami Q, 2 TDs for 3 receptions. Abba, 3 for 2. And yeah, X Clip. Oh, X Clip actually had a touchdown. I don't even remember that, bro. <laughs> yeah, three recessions for one TD. Oh, yeah, bro. The chaos. <laughs> bro, I fixed it in the LFG ping, but I didn't, like, fix it in this one. But, yeah, Kansas Jayhawks, bro. My bad. You do a little trailer, bro. Yeah, let me end the prediction. As... <laughs> I don't know why I've seen this trend a lot from Kansas though. At the start of the second half, they kind of just start selling and sell the game away. Like it'll be close the entire first half, and then after, like it just turns into a blowout. I don't really know why. Because I remember an RSPN stream where it was a close game with Kansas and uh, Champions team, and then Champions team just started blowing them out. And yeah, I think they also mercyed. Um, let me see. Cowboy, Cra Cowboy Crab is most definitely still alive, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna raid Cowboy Crab as he literally raided me two times like two days ago, so. Gotta raid him at that point. But, uh. Yeah. Hope y'all boys have a good rest of your night. As always, if you guys wanna join my server where I post the streams, um. You can join if you want. It's kinda dead, but 
yet. <laughs> I'm gonna just post my streams with everybody. I'll break Cowboy Crab as he's streaming supporter versus MVP's game, I think. But yeah, let me uh, go ahead and read Cowboy. Hope y'all have a good rest of your night. S see you, Sparrow. You guys want to join? Show Cowboy some love in the LFG game.